Hey there, everybody. Uh, welcome to another movie-related vlog. A uh, trip to the movies was made today by myself and my daughter to see the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Um, I've known I was going to go to this for a few weeks. I had a couple of free passes, and uh, since my daughter uh, first watched uh, my series of uh, the, the cartoons, which I showed in a video, a Red Shadow Remembers video, a few months back, I think. Anyway, it's been a while. But uh, she watched all through those, I think, well, it would have been about three years ago, um, the first year I was living in this house. Uh, I remember she was over here one point, and she was sick, and she was kind of conked out on the couch, but she was awake, and uh, she wanted to watch the Ninja Turtles, so I think that's kind of the day that it started. Uh, she pretty much eventually watched all nine seasons worth of it. Uh, but only recently, within the last month or two, has she watched her first... Um, I don't have it handy. But the first of the, the live-action movies. And she's actually watched all three of those and the animated TMNT movie uh, within the last two months, I'd say. And she even enjoyed those, so I've been pretty pretty stoked about that because Ninja Turtles well, it's one of my favorite old cartoons um, so anyway the new movie okay I was one of those people who was really weary uh, as I was getting information about this movie since it was announced uh, I don't have an issue with Michael Bay because I like the Transformers movies and some other movies that he's done like the island I think is one that's his uh, and whatever else he's done. But uh, this one, I don't know, part of it was here he was once again taking an old, you know, childhood favorite of mine and modernizing it, bringing it to the big screen with his brand of CG and action and explosions and all that crap. And, uh, you know, I'm not dumb. I, I realize that he's kind of overly cliched and. Uh, he's almost one of those guys who, if somebody finds out that you like Michael Bay or his movies, you get, you know, a hard time over it. But I just wasn't sure that it was it was right for him to be doing another old classic cartoon. Now, bear in mind, Michael Bay directed all the Transformers movies. He's only a producer on this one. It was directed by... Is it Jonathan Liebesman or something like that? I don't know. I could be wrong on the on the whole name. But uh, the point is I was afraid that it was going to be bad. I did not want to spend money on it, but I didn't. It, it was free to see the movie. It cost me $11 to buy my daughter a small Sierra Mist and a small popcorn that she then dumped the popcorn uh, before she was barely even her seat at the beginning of the movie. With money like it is right now, I couldn't buy her anymore. She got to eat what was left in the bag that didn't come out, and that was it. But, uh, anyway, uh, I was pleasantly surprised by the movie. Um, okay, here are my pros and cons, I guess I should say, about the movie. I'm going to start with the cons. I knew even before I saw the movie, I didn't like the idea of the, the Ninja Turtles being so freaking huge. Somebody on a Facebook page called them like Hulks, Incredible Hulks, basically, with turtle shells. They're pretty big. Uh, they were never that big in either the original movies or the uh, cartoons that I watched. I don't know what they were like in the original comic book slash graphic novels that they were uh, born from. That's the only, really the only, well, no, uh, there's some of the newer Turtle cartoons I don't watch either. Uh, they don't count as far as I'm concerned. But I don't know if they were oversized like that in the original Eastman and Laird uh, comic books. But uh, everything I've ever said was they were already mutants. They started out as little tiny turtles and they mutated into human-sized uh you know, turtles. So, 
why should in this should they be even more beastly and, and monstrous in that way? It, I don't know. Uh, I if if I had lived in the '90s uh, New York where the original turtles came from, I would find them a little more uh, well, a little easier to to love those turtles as superheroes, so to speak. These I'd be a little afraid of because they're just monsters. But they don't come off. They obviously they don't act like monsters. Their personality traits are pretty much in line with the way they've always been depicted. But that was a little bit of a knock, and it still held as I watched the movie. I thought, man, uh, you know, I wish they wouldn't have made them like that. Because, like, size-wise, they, they could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Shredder, who, and this is another con, I didn't care much for the Shredder's outfit. It was like, you know, metallic armor and shot like his shredders things would come out almost like over like uh wolverine's claws on steroids and he could shoot them out and then magnetize them back to himself he was this big beast and the turtles one one by one could literally be the same size as him so with the four of them you should think they should hand his ass to him but of course they did not teamwork had to be you know, utilized, uh, but I always thought that the teamwork of the four turtles against much bigger beasts was uh, was a really cool way for it to go. Uh, another couple of cons, just plot details. In the original cartoons, April O'Neil was a reporter who discovers the turtles and covers the turtles and then befriends them and becomes an ally of theirs. Uh, the turtles themselves were just turtles in a sewer who got covered in some mutagen and who became, you know, the TMNT, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that we've seen. The The storyline in the cartoons had more to do with uh, uh, Splinter, the rat. There's, there's two different stories. One that's from the movies, one that's from the cartoons. One was that he was a, a man who, because of his exposure to the mutagen and the fact that he had last handled a rat, he mutated into a human rat. Uh, the other storyline, uh, I think that's from the cartoon. In the movies, Splinter was the pet of, of a man and he was exposed to the mutagen in New York after his master was killed by Shredder, Oruku Saki, if I remember, the, that's the name of one of the two, either Shredder or Splinter. Uh, and then so he goes to fight for his master's honor against Shredder, who killed him. Um, that's the basically the storylines from the cartoons and the movies. In this one here, there's, there's this man named Shredder, and he is in league with a guy named Eric Starks, who is running like a biological weapon research program with another gentleman who is April O'Neil's father. And they're making some, the, the mutagen thing, it's supposed to be able to uh, cure this viral, uh, some sort of airborne virus or something, pathogen, whatever, that they wanted to set out on New York. It would kill a bunch of people and hurt a bunch of people and they would swoop in with the antidote and then they could use it as leverage to rule the world or something like that. Um, and uh, April was there in the facility and she even raised the little turtles and the rat that became the Ninja Turtles and Splinter uh, later on after they were exposed to the mutagen but they were thought to have died in the fire because her father when he found out that their research was being used for evil means, he decided that he wanted to stop it all and was going to set fire to the place and destroy all the evidence. He ends up dying. She ends up saving the, the rat and the turtles and letting them go. They go down into the sewer and then the mutagen has its effects on them and they grow up for years there before they start to show themselves after they've trained. And uh, she fed the, the turtles and, and the rat pizza and that's how they came to love pizza you know all these crazy things that we've seen in the in the cartoons and the movies over the years uh, they had their explanations for everything but I didn't like the fact that she had this tie to them going all the way back I didn't see that being necessary um, but whatever you know there was a great moment in the movie where Vern played by Will Arnett and Megan Fox plays April O'Neil 
they're driving and he says something to her about well, are they are they aliens and she's like no that's stupid which was funny because one of the original uh, pieces of information that came out was that about the script when it was being written was that they Michael Bay or not Michael Bay necessarily maybe he had a hand in it but somebody involved in it was going to make the turtles aliens not turtles from our planet with mutagen that caused them to transform but they were going to be aliens and uh, the fans were in uproar and I would have thought that sucked balls too uh, but they changed that or they didn't use that or it was a rumor or whatever but they threw in that joke in the movie uh, but I think those were the major cons that I had against it. Now, the pros were just that the Turtles' personalities were intact, as I mentioned before. Uh, there were a lot of great moments of humor right in the middle of the action. There were also a few jokes that kind of fell flat, but for the most part, a lot of the Turtle stuff was, was really great and spot on. Modern version of the Turtle humor that they are known for. Um... The action was good. Um, there were some sequences in it that went really, really long, and made you wonder. It's I know it's supposed you're supposed to have the suspension of belief in the movie, uh, and suspension of disbelief. I think you have to have both of those things. So there's a there's a scene in which they're sliding down a snowy mountain on a in a truck, and there's Hummers and vehicles chasing them, and it goes and it goes and it goes. And yet, in the end, it really looks like they, they just traveled like maybe a quarter of a mile down this hill. It was kind of crazy, but it was also at the same time, it was pretty exhilarating. So, I liked that. Um, I, I liked a lot of it. I mean, it was just, it was a perfect way to pass the torch to something new. Because they're already, a, they've already announced that there's going to be a sequel two years from now. They must have been banking it was going to do pretty good, which it did do pretty good. And uh, overall, I was I was very pleased with it. I, I think that it, like I said, uh, I've said a few times, it uh, it can carry on the mantle of the the Ninja Turtle name, uh, you know, with with no doubt for me. Um, Megan Fox did an all right job. She she wasn't as uh, outmatched in acting ability. Like I'm sure a lot of people figured that the CG turtles would outact her. Well, they probably did, but. She didn't uh, make a fool of herself. I still don't understand, though, why or how it is that she and Michael Bay uh, repaired what, you know, working relationship that they had so that she could come and do this movie. Uh, she should have been a redhead, though, or at least a nod towards that. Judith Hogue will always be my April O'Neil. She was amazing in that first movie. She was hot. She was funny. She did a great job acting in it, um, and uh, and I wonder if in the next movie they'll have Casey Jones. I think they should have a Casey Jones because Elias Codius was amazing as Casey Jones in that first movie too. Well, anyway, that's talk for another day. My daughter and I had a, a good time at the movie. This was really the only thing that we did this summer. Otherwise, when she and I were here, we were just camped out in this house playing games and. Uh, not doing much of anything so we had a good time out uh, had had some McDonald's afterwards you know nothing fancy but just some food uh, spent a lot of money today on on this trip but I, I guess that's what you got to do right so anyway that was my thoughts on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, if you're a fan of the original cartoon you should at least give it a shot you don't necessarily have to go all out and spend a bunch of money at the theater but wait for it to come out on video uh, watch it rent it uh, watch it on netflix or something like that whatever it ends up on just give it a shot it's it's better than i expected and probably it's better than it had any right to be um and uh, that's pretty cool right because they could have really they could have really ruined it they could have just shit all over it aliens i mean really all right, well, that does it for me. I'll see you next time.